Okay, hi guys and girls, and welcome to another short episode of We Flick Fishing. Today we're going to be doing something a little different. We've come out of the rivers. We're in Port Phillip Bay at the beautiful Mornington Peninsula, a beautiful morning as you can see. Today we're going to be targeting pinky snapper on soft plastics, a very basic way of fishing lures, a very good way for beginners to learn, get a bit of a gist of what it's all about. Um, today we're with good friend Aaron Clark, keen fisherman, never fished soft plastics before. He's a bait fisherman, loves his Port Phillip Bay snapper. Really excited to try and get into this soft plastics because he's seen a lot of it but never done it before. So we're going to start off by fishing in the shallow regions. We're going to fish the reefs. Uh, we're going to fish weed beds averaging from about eight down to about four metres, basically bouncing plastic plastics off the bottom. Um, unlike the brim where you're using really light jig heads and stuff like that, we're going to be fishing a lot heavier, back to basics, very similar to flatty bumping. So what we'll do is we'll sound around, try and find some patches of fish and chuck and hopefully we can get onto them. What uh, do you reckon, Aaron? I'm pumped. Pumped? Good. Yeah, good. Beautiful. Good to see, man. All right, well, let's do it. Let's yeah, get into let's it. Let's do it. Here we go. Uh, this is basically what we're looking for here, Aaron. You're driving through, you can see these slight humps here just sitting off off the bottom. You can see a couple of little clusters of hard patches and a yep. few little lone ranges. It's basically exactly what we're looking for. So I reckon we should stop up here, have a flick and yep. um, see if they're feeding or not, I guess. Uh. And hopefully, hopefully we can get on them. Uh. All right, let's go. All right, guys, the weapon, the weapon of choice today, Dameki grubs, Dameki D grubs. Um, shrimp centered, they're a soft plastic. They're not an actual eatable bait. They are a traditional soft plastic, but they are shrimp centered. Uh, we're using a smoke red color, which Aaron is on. I'm using an ox red color myself. We'll start off with that, we'll see how they go. If we get feeding fish on them, we'll continue to stay. Uh, if not, we'll just chop and change through the range of colors until we find something that works. All right, so what we do, Aaron, one of the most important things with the style of fishing is you're fishing with your drift. You want to let your lure sink and you want to have slack in your line. Yep. Um, it's almost ineffective if you go against your drift. So what you do is you figure out which way you're drifting and then flick with your drift. In this case, we're going to be drifting this way, so we'll flick yep. them out this way. And just let it slowly make its way, way to the bottom. Just watch the slack of your line because usually when they do take it, you either see a big twitch or it'll go to take off with it straight up. Hopefully we can pick out some feeders. Come on. Oh, oh lost him. What already? Straight, oh, whack, there we go. Oh <laughs> wow, straight up. <laughs> awesome. Dang, instant burst of confidence. Very good. Man, I'm on too. Oh, lovely. <laughs> Well, there you go. First cast, first fish on plastics. Awesome. <laughs> Little tucker. Yep. Real small. Did it just, uh, when, when it hit, did it just take off with it or did you see like a twitch or did you feel? No, it kind of just smashed it. Just come and smashed it? That's good, it's a good sign. Usually that means they're fairly active, so hopefully we are on a bit of a turn on time and get onto some good ones or big good numbers of them. Uh, first cast, first fish. Yeah, very promising. Good stuff. Yeah, so you let it hit the deck, let your slack go, and then just give it a couple of basic knocks up. Yep. Um, change away with your pauses, so sometimes you have long pauses, short pauses, but just basic hops off the bottom. Let it sink back down, and they should just grab I'm on one. again. Bang, there you go, second <laughs> cast, second fish. You're beating me. <laughs> Funny, such a small fish like that can feel really, really good on the light gear. Can't yeah, it? it's a yeah. lot different to the um, different your different. traditional snapper gear. Yeah. Upgrading already. Bam! Bang again. Wow, man. Yeah, doing me. Usually, <laughs> I'm the one that catches all the fish. Far out. <laughs> That's good. Good to see. Beginner's luck. Another little small one, or is it bigger than the rest? Smaller. Yeah, that same size. Oh, a little bit bigger. Oh, yeah, about the same size. My last one was oh, bigger than this there one. There we go. Bang. And me too. Oh, this feels a little bit better than the last one. 
<laughs> the old swell sway. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, I think this one might be a little bit one, better though. than the other ones, yeah. Still small, but I think it's a little bit better. Yeah, it's a little bit better. There we go, that's a little bit more respectable. Still not the size we're after. We do want to try and find some bigger ones. Um, in these grounds, fishing for pinkies, a good respectable size would be somewhere around the one and a half to two kilos you'd be happy with. This one here would struggle to tap 500 grams, I'd reckon. Um, fairly small, but it is bigger, so yeah. good sign. Hopefully we can find maybe just a, oh. Bam. <laughs> the pouch of a bit bigger <laughs> fish and draw some nice ones out. How does that feel? A little bit better? Uh, about the same. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Another little tucker. Beautiful. Killing it, Aaron. Oh, yeah. First time. Do you think it was going to be like this? No. <laughs> That's good. Good to see. All right, I'm going to go to a colour change now. Go a little bit slightly bigger plastic and hopefully we can entice one of these bigger pinkies. Um, Domeki baits again. Armour shad, a little bit longer, it's a minnow style, minnow style uh, plastic. Basically the same technique as the grubs, Aaron, that I was just using before. Just a basic hop off the bottom. Maybe a change of plastic will result in bigger fish. So we'll chuck it on and see what we can do. Wow, that one seems to be working well, doesn't yeah, it? That was... <laughs> You're cleaning up, mate. All right, with this armour shad, it's basically exactly the same technique. We just let it sink right to the bottom watching our slack on the way down in case of a take, which usually happens, and then a basic hop off of the deck. Let it sink back down, some more pauses. Oh, is that a hit then? And there we go. That was three times there, I was raising it on the sink, they're just coming and taking it, and just taking my line straight off. They're hitting really well, they're feeding good. It's a good sign. Look at that, double hook up, two fish, almost exactly the same size, aren't they? Yeah. All right guys and girls, things have gotten a little bit quiet now and the reason for it is because we've drifted over the patch of fish that we originally sounded. So what we're going to do is we're going to drive on, we're going to drive a little bit further down from where we started, uh, try and find some bigger fish on the sounder and have a flick at that. So yep. we'll move on, that's basically what you want to do yep. when, you, when it stops feeding uh, or you stop getting, you want to look at your sounder, usually you'll find the fish are gone, so you just reposition back over and, and uh, flick over and yep. hopefully it's the same feeding school than what, yeah. we, what we just had. So That was awesome. Yeah it was, wasn't yeah. it? That was good man. It's, uh, good to see you get onto your first yeah. fish on the lures it's anyway, good. so it's yeah. good man, good pump. Well, we'll go move on and try and find some more. Yeah. Get Sweet. some bigger ones. All right again. Alright guys, we just finished sounding around. We sounded around for about a half an hour, 45 minutes. Um, we're finding little clumps here and there, but nothing like that first patch we've done. So we've gone back over, we found that exact same clump of fish. We found a few more bigger arches in it, so we're going to flick over it and hopefully turn on some of these bigger fish. We know they're there, because there's definitely some big arches showing. So, let's do it, Aaron. And we're on that first cast. First drop, straight up, basically hit the deck and he's taking it straight away. Definitely an active school of fish, this school. Uh, it's only a small one, this one. Hopefully we can pick out some nice, you know, sort of kilo, kilo and a half fish. Oh, bang, there you go, Aaron's on too. How's that feel there, Aaron? Yeah, it feels a bit better than the last ones, but hopefully it is. A bit nicer than the ones Beautiful. I was getting before. Yeah, it's a lot better than the ones you were getting before, yeah. Starting to get a bit more respectable. Great fun for fish to catch these pinkies on light gear. Geez, they can go real hard, especially when you get these fish that are a kilo and up. They can really pull some drag and give you some grief. This one feels like another all right one. Another good one? Another good one. Beautiful. Lovely. 
I might have a little bit better, a bit, little bit more of a better one as well, Aaron. Yeah? Yeah, it feels like there's a little bit more weight there than the other ones. Or it might just be a small one imitating a big one. Uh, yeah, it's still not a small one. Still a lovely fish though. Believe it or not, it's probably almost legal. Um, nothing I'd keep and eat. I think it's a bit too small. I think it could probably do with another few more years under its belt. Hopefully you can grow up one day to be one of those big mummers that all these Port Phillip Bay snapper fishermen just dream of catching every season. Oh, well, one day, hopefully. Ooh. This might be a slightly better one. On the strike, it just had that little bit more weight to it, it didn't want to move. Usually, when you hooked a good snapper, you'll strike and it'll be dead weight, and then all of a sudden they'll wake up and go to take off. Not nothing huge, but it just had that weight to it. It's a bit of a trick. This fish here's got, you can see these lovely dots on it standing out. You pick through a lot of these and a lot of them can look different. Some of them look really red, some of them are really white, some of them have got these really lovely nice dots like this one. A little bit of purple in his eye, I'm not sure if the camera can pick that up, but it certainly looks good in the sunlight. And there's the damage doer. It's been, been smashed up by these pinkies. The armor shad, it's kicking some ass. Oh, I think we might have a uh, the personal best fish for the day. Actually starting to pull a little bit of drag. Oh, I think it's definitely one of the better pinkies. Hopefully we can get a look of it. Unless he's foul hooked, one way you can tell those just a lot harder head knocks. Oh, a few seals around, hopefully they don't, they don't get the better of him. That's a nice That's one. That's what we're after. <sighs> Ooh! Oh. oh! Oh no! Oh, there goes. Oh, there. seal got it. Here you oh. go. Seal just got the better of it. Unlucky. That was the pinky we were looking for. Had him to the boat, gone to grab him, and this cheeky fella here has come up and taken him out of my hands. Basically, <laughs> bit unlucky when the seals are feeding on the fish you're catching. But oh, rig back up and try and land one of them. It felt good as spewing. Alright guys and girls, unfortunately we have to wrap it up for now, it's starting to get to that time where the old stomach is starting to grumble, I don't know about you but my gut is really starting to call for a feed. Um, we've been out for about three and a half hours, probably good for about a 60-70 fish sesh I reckon? Yeah, yeah, plenty of fish. And your first time on the field fishing is off plastic, so what are your thoughts? Yeah, good fun, rather than bait, like you're always active and always getting into the fish and a yeah. lot different. It is, huh? it is a lot different. Well, yeah. it just goes, they're very effective, aren't they? Especially yeah. when you get actually shown by someone who knows how to fish them. Yeah. It really is not that hard. Yeah. Anyway, we'll wrap it up. These are the Domeki plastics that we're doing the damage. We have the armor shads and we have the grubs. Uh, if you want any more information on these plastics, we have them on our online store at weefleetfishing.com. Um, thanks for watching and Aaron, I hope it's given you that really big kick. And yeah. I'm giving you the drive to come out for more. I, I bet it has. Yeah, I remember the first more. time I had my first first fish on with these plastics. It was just, yeah, took yeah. me by storm and we haven't turned back since. So I'll be doing more. Yep. Very good. It's yeah. good to hear, man. Yeah. Well, it's good to have you on board. Yep. And uh, yeah, till yeah. next time. That's it. Sweet. Home time. Eat time. Yep. I'll right, see you guys. And thanks for watching Weekly Fishing. <laughs>